Hey, hey. There. See? Easy. Easy, Selby. Scott Leisure. And with me as always, the can I just say, not only is she a broadcasting legend, Jackie Selby, my friends, is a Denver treasure. Aren't you kind to say? Yes. Thank you for, for, for joining us. Yes. This is Informed Opinion. And we are going to walk down some dark roads. We're going to then try to bring things back out into the light. Okay. Thursday afternoon in the Mile High City. We're going to get some snow tonight, Jackie. Imagine that. It's March. And tomorrow is Cash Friday. Cash Friday. Cash Friday. Don't forget to use Cash Friday. So check this out, Selby. Can I call you Selby? Yes. <laughs> you always have. <laughs> this... Last night, I'm at I'm at the Sprouts buying some decent produce. Yeah, and I made the mistake. I gave, and it wasn't a millennial. I wasn't making change with the millennial. I okay got in, and she she was like, she was like your age, Jackie. So whatever. <laughs> the cashier was Jackie's age and <laughs> I gave her an extra buck and she handed it back to me. So Aww. it goes both ways. What a nice a, lady. Yeah. Yeah. Spend cash tomorrow before it goes away. Hashtag cash Friday. Hashtag before, spend cash. Before it goes away. Cash is king. For now. For now. Yeah. Um, no more banks collapse. Speaking of the grocery store. Yeah. You know, one thing that we preach on the, on the podcast is the fact that we try to eat right. You know, we try to know where our food is coming from. It's not, we can't be 110% all the time. We can aim for that, just like everything else. And if we hit like 75%, okay. 70, all we're right. Good, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, just when you think you have it figured out, we talk about Kroger and we talk about, you know, the those huge cattle farms that are given off the methane and just hormones galore. Sorry. Hormones galore so where do we go to uh fire meat next what's what's another safe place to go get your meat from a local rancher from a local rancher but if if the local ranch isn't just around the corner when you need a steak or ground beef for dinner where ah. we jump into costco right yeah i guess yes Costco, I trust Costco. All right. Well, they're f however long, what, 30 years this guy has been their CFO and he is stepping down. Oh. And the Kroger CFO, he's going to step in. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. March 15th, right around the corner. Uh, longtime finance chief Richard Galanti will step down. Mm, I knew after Charlie Munger died, then that would be second. Oh, yeah. More than 30 years this guy has been there. Your quality is going to go down, people. I'm telling you that right now. So what do you do? You just... I don't know. Don't buy. I, I don't like the beef from uh, from Whole Foods. I got ground beef there and it just turned into pink slime on my um, skillet. From Whole Foods? Mm-hmm. E. It was so gross. I took pictures and brought it back and everything. Well, I posted that that video of the red meat. The red meat 
the stuff that was actually red and not pink. Yes, I liked that. That was a very good that post was, on, on your on your Instagram. Yeah, that was Sprouts. Mm. We're we're not we're not connecting to Instagram for some reason. Again, so I don't know. I That's don't okay. know. It's okay. Do you know? I went to the Google. I gave it the big GTS. Okay. How much does Costco make? How much does one Costco make a day? Do you think, Selby? A day. <laughs> a day. Uh, let's see. One Costco a day. I don't know my grocery numbers. You might be closer to uh, guessing before you... The number you... I've got in front of me is one Costco makes $526,000 a day. I hmm. wonder how much it costs On to operate the thing. Uh, with the average annual sales per warehouse at $192 million. Hmm. 365 days a year. The average Costco location pulls in over a half a million dollars each day. Well, that's, I'm not surprised. Hmm. They sure sell a lot of stuff. They do. They do. But I don't know what's going to happen with that Kroger son of a stepping in. Fries. Do they have, what? what is Kroger on the other side of the river where you're mm -hmm. at? Harris Teeter. <laughs> Seriously? That's my luggage. Harris Teeter. Harris Teeter. I call it something else, but I'm not saying it on here. Oh, gotcha. Do you remember a while back you were watching that customs show? What was that show in the airport? Uh, Real Responders Australia, I think it's called. Real. So... I'm cruising around on this on the fire stick last night. Mm -hmm. National Geographic to catch a smuggler. Oh, hey! Now I would enjoy that. <laughs> you would enjoy that. The real responders, the, Australia. Yeah, these are the. Uh, it's a a documentary. Obviously, it's the U.S. Customs and Border Protection and Immigration Enforcement. Hey. Underground casinos, Selby. Brothels, Selby. Brothels. Brothels. Just sh shady. Lots of crazy shady shit. This stuff, Selby, was so shady that when they talked to the guy in charge of it, when the reporter is talking to the guy that's running the operation, it's so shady that it's one of those where they they change his voice and they slow him down so it doesn't sound like he really sounds. You know what I'm talking about when they do right. that? Yes, yes, yes. It's that shady. Whew. To catch a smuggler. I would like it. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. Okay. Kroger, to catch a smuggler. Wow. The. I really feel sorry for for Costco shoppers. I really do. What do you do? Just stick I to sprouts? I don't know, but oh my god! What you can do, honestly, just do your research. Mm -hmm. Get out there and try and ask questions. If you need mm -hmm. to send them an email, hey, where are you getting your meat from? Where is this coming from? I mean, just all kinds of things are going to be going by the wayside because mm -hmm. he's going to try to pinch more profit out of it. Anyway, will. The price of the hot dog go up. You know it will. Don't say it. Why do you got to do that? It's going to. Why do you got to do that? I don't know why Kroger has to charge 75 cents to get cash back at the at the um, cash register. Now that's pinching people right there. The, that's, a, that's a middle finger occasion right there, Scott. Mm -hmm. I got a, a couple more, but go ahead. 
Go ahead. No, give me one. What do you, you, here's a Jackie's little finger list. occasion. Yeah. Oh, that I thought you had a couple more. No, oh, I, I, I do. Jackie's got the list. Here's Jackie's list. It says space news, multiple points. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> All right. So like 47 new satellites were launched in the last week. How come this isn't on the front of the paper? Nobody has a paper anymore. Uh, <clears throat> 47 new ones. East Coast between uh, Cape Canaveral and California. And they're mostly SpaceX. And what do you think they're doing up there? Orbiting. Mm -hmm. They say it's all about communications, but not our communications. It's their communications. Um, following that is a headline from the University of Alaska Fairbanks. You know what's up in Alaska, don't you? Harp. Yeah. So uh, they specialize in new advanced LIDAR. LIDAR. That's the green one that goes, does the scanning. To explore space weather around the world. Space weather. Space, space weather. Weather. S space weather. Space weather. Okay. What weather? Space weather. The, they never, they never did say really how those fires started either, did they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It always seems to be downed power lines. All mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. Downed power lines. Downed power lines. Well, and then here we had like the Jesus cult two and the down parallels so what's your take on that selby what do you got the more Satellite. stuff they put up there John. all those little streaky things that you see in the sky that go <laughs> instead of having real clouds you've seen a little happy cloud lately oh, i have not the those things make the atmosphere Pay attention to how you feel and how more the sky looks sometimes. Yeah, more conductive. On those days where it's really streaky and heavy, those are the days where the next day I'll wake up with a headache or mm -hmm. I'll wake up congested. Me too, with congestion. I can. I told you I can feel it and taste it. It's yucky. Damn, so. You drug us. You drug us down the road pretty, pretty quickly. I know. I'm sorry. I did it. So, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of, State of Union tonight. You're gonna watch the State of the Union tonight. With who? With, with the President of the United States of America, of course. How many times will whichever one they bring up there? How many times do you think he'll say, what's the over under on him saying MAGA? What's the over and under on him telling a story about growing up with his dad? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I know that they built a fence around the, the White House. Yeah, last night, overnight. But they didn't build a fence in some places where it really would have come in handy. Like, like where? Like, say any anywhere people are kind of trying to get here from. So, if you want, what you're saying is, if you built a fence, a fence <laughs> that is usually to either keep something in or something out, like cattle, cattle, or, or puppies. Let's go yeah. with puppies. Puppies, sheep. And so they, so maybe they're trying to keep people in by building that around the Capitol. Mm. Do you think? Well, it wouldn't. I know where you're going. You're talking about the border, aren't you? You're talking about the border. Well, let me tell you something, Selby. They don't need a fence at the border because apparently we just put them on a plane yeah. and fly them in here. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Wherever like they want to go. Mm -hmm. 400,000 people just hop on the plane. And then let's go back and say, oh, no, that's that's not going on. Even though you it made sense because you see all those little shorts on your Insta or whatever. Yeah. Well, and there's, yes, hey, look at these my, look at these people on my plane. <laughs> <laughs> if you follow Jorge Ventura TV on Instagram. He's down there and he has been for years. He's bilingual. He's from California. And he stands there with his camera. Before it was just him on the camera. Now he has a cameraman. And they stand there and they talk to the folks who are coming and they, um, you know, look at the holes in the available areas for people to just come through. And then they, he interviews people at the buses and he calls it a street release. Oh, there's been, you know, 40,000 people street released in San Diego this month. Street released. Now, listen, these are people who have backpacks and clean clothing and they're well fed and they're being picked up by a brand new bus. Brand new bus. What could go wrong? Uh, the White House has a new term for them. Newcomers. <laughs> no. You making stuff up? Again. I'm not. No, President um, Squinty Eyes. Newcomers. Newcomers. They're not immigrants. Newcomers. Wow, what okay. was that? Cool. I'm so sorry. They, they're not. That's fine. Not, you can you can identify as a newcomer. Okay. They're so not they're immigrants. Not. They're not illegal aliens. They're newcomers. Well. Well, 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 newcomers. Okay, mm -hmm. sure, sure, newcomers. Space junk, newcomers, underground casinos, brothels. Brothel. Thai customs officials have arrested six Indians for attempting to smuggle a red panda, Jackie, <gasps> and 86 other animals out of the kingdom, including but not limited to snakes, parrots, and monitor lizards. Oh. The illicit menagerie, which might be the name of my new band. <laughs> illicit menagerie was discovered hidden in the suspect's checked luggage at Bangkok's airport. Oh, my God. A red panda in a luggage piece? Now, when you're talking about animals, man, I get fired up. There you go. It's, That's it's, terrible. I, I bet you, like, something like that would be on to catch a smuggler. Yes, it would. With the underground casinos. What about smuggling red pandas into the underground casinos oh with the newcomers? Gosh. Why are the people so awful? Newcomers. That's epic. Newcomers. Epic. The White House has coined a new term. Newcomers. Okay. All right. I sure. wonder if um, old man Squinty Eyes is going to say, uh, welcome to the newcomers tonight on the State of the Union. Okay. You remember we did the Colorado bingo last week. The, the which? Colorado bingo. Yes, bingo, bingo. Okay. Colorado bingo. I've got a couple more. The so the the background polis our governor tweeted out this bingo card about things to do in Colorado like you drive a Subaru and blah 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 they were cute but they were fun but if you're true Coloradans these are some telltale signs that you should be things that you should be checking off your bingo card All right right okay you have been to the old original Chubby's at one a.m. Okay, Chubby's at one, and that's on uh, 38th. Oh, 38th and... Uh... Don't pretend, Jackie. It's not oh you. God. 38th and... Um... Right right as it either, as you come out from the overpass, like Fox, this side of Fox. Thank the you. west side of Fox, yes. Thank you. You're Fox. welcome. You're welcome, Fox. I was losing track of my west side streets for a second. That building, the original building is gone, but... Coming when when baseball showed up, 93, early 90s, stuff like that, Lodo was actually safe and fun. Believe mm -hmm. it or not, it was safe and fun. So when you're 
in your young 20s down in Lodo, driving back to the west side of town, mm-hmm. that's where you stopped, Chubby's. Chubby's. A Denver oh. original. There you go. What There's I wouldn't one. give right about now. Hmm. Uh, let's go to. Okay, if you are original, if you are truly a Coloradan, you know at what point, if you're driving on these snow-packed icy streets, you know at what point you can either stop at the red light or go through it. And there's no worry in going through it. Everybody at the intersection should know that point. Okay, that guy is not going to stop. He's going to go through it. Instead of trying to stop, causing a wreck, and Mm -hmm. all kinds of snow and ice mayhem 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 i like those for our new bingo game i like it i like it we'll 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 get some more if you've got some that you think might be on that card or need to be on that card give us a shout okay what else you got do have we gone have we got through all the bad news we can i think so i don't feel like doing any more (laughs) okay okay i've got the Uh I've got the Bible, Selby, the thrift store right. Bible. Lay it on us. Okay. This comes out of co- collisions, collisions, collisions. It's it's right before Thethalothians. Thethalothians. Okay. This is from one collisions. But if you stop properly at the light, there There'll will be, be no, no collisions. No collisions. 115 the su- the supremacy of christ which actually could be the name of my new band he is the image of the invisible god the firstborn over all creation jackie for by him all things were created hmm. uh things in heaven and on earth visible and invisible Whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Winter nights we sang in tune, played inside the months of moon. Never think of never, let this spell, Jackie, last forever. Will summer lover pass to fall? Tried to realize it all. Scott, this is not really from the Bible. Growing up in a hurry. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Got to love the Bible. Got to love the Bible. Thrift store. Okay. You want to do the prayer and then we'll do the songs? You want to do the songs and the prayer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do the prayer. Okay. Pray it on us, Jackie. Let me get it. It's really a poem. And I wrote this one, and I just found it when I was cleaning out my computer this weekend because I uh, lost a message on my email. So I went down the rabbit hole this past weekend and cleaned out all my messages. So anyway, excellent. I wrote this to Robbie Knight, the lady who um, passed away, my radio friend who passed away a couple of weeks ago. And I wrote this to her when she was diagnosed with the um, brain cancer, the glioblastoma. And so that was October 25th of 2020. So here's what I wrote. I I really don't write poetry, but this was pretty damn good. Go. The nighttime dream of love without is really love within. For daytime comes and fear dissolves with sunrise in the heart begin. Right? I'm on to something here. That's good. Those dreams of yours that show your path ending unfulfilled is just the message from your teachers to find another way home. That's I said it. it last week. You are on fire. A roll. With the poetry. And this but one I you wrote, wrote that you one. wrote that. I did. I wrote that for Robbie Knight. God love her. I'm gonna God listen rest to that her again soul. A few times. I'm gonna listen to that. If if you didn't catch all that, bring it back. Zip that thing back. Listen to that again. That was good yeah. stuff, Selby. It's a good one. Thanks. Beautiful. And you write poetry, so I, I that's highly... Beautiful. Thanks. Next on your list is another verse for the Crisis at the Border song. Okay. Okay. That'll be for next week. You want it? 
So yeah, that'd be great. Okay. One if if we're still here, because you know, <laughs> we saw the first horse last weekend. <laughs> Okay, 1,001 songs you must hear before you die. Another thrift store gem. Okay. First song. First song. Nineteen eighty-one. All right, eighty-one. Our lips are sealed by the awesome. Go-Go's. Awesome. Gotta love that. Ching 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 ching. Second song, 1995. Mm-hmm. You ought to know Alanis Morissette. Oh, boy. That covers a lot of ground between those two, doesn't it? Yeah. It's pretty much the extent of our musical lives. <laughs> kind of, right? Oh, man. Excellent. Who did, did you see the Go Go's and the Police on tour together when they first? In no, the early 80s? I've seen the Go Go's a couple of times though. Man, oh. that was a good concert. Holy smokes! Yeah, I remember that was what I was deal. wearing back in eighty. That was like eighty three, eighty four, something like that, right? I think it was eighty one or two or three or four. No, not that late. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. well, I'll have to look it up. Look it up. Bring it back next week. All right. We'll see you then. People, then, People, be good to yourselves. Be good to the ones you love. Write them a poem. Uh, give them a hug. You know, even, you know, even driving in traffic. Give them, give them a wave or a couple waves. I don't know. Whichever. <laughs> Whichever. <laughs> Chances are they don't even know you're next to, next to them. So it doesn't really matter. Am I right? You're right. Informed opinion every Thursday, four o'clock. Tell your friends, tell your friends' friends, tell your enemies, and tell tell everybody. And you know, you know yeah, stay away from the State of the Union tonight, would you? Please. Good idea. All right. See ya. See ya.